All right, guys. There's been a lot of, uh, or a couple of videos on doing oil changes for uh, Yamaha Roadstar, but I'm going to walk you through mine. Uh, just, it's a hot topic, and I don't think uh, it's a bad thing to have multiple videos and multiple walkthroughs on how to do it. Um, different resources, you know, people, different people touch on different things when they're doing it. So I'm going to walk you through mine and uh, hopefully you get something out of it. So there are debates to the moon and back on the uh, the proper oil to use, synthetic versus non-synthetic, the proper oil filter to use. Um, you know, I've never had any uh, real complaints with anything uh, that I've used, so I'm just gonna show you what I use, and I, I use what's available to me in my area. Um, and surprisingly enough, Walmart is uh, really the only place in town that I can get uh, the oil filter and so I just kind of have to take what they have. Alright, so this is what you're going to need for an oil change on a Yamaha Roadstar. Uh, I use Mobile One V-Twin 2050, full synthetic. Uh, it's it's uh, on Roadstar Clinic Forum and a couple of others. Uh, a lot of people swear by it. Uh, a lot of people disagree with them, uh, and that's okay. Everybody can have their opinion. Um, but this is what I use. It's uh, Mobile One 2050. Um, and I use, uh, because it, it's all that's available, I would prefer a K&N or a Wix or some other higher quality oil filter, but Fram is what was available. So it's getting a Fram. It's got a Fram oil filter on it now. I haven't had any complaints I mean the motor still running uh, so you know it is what it is I know there are other higher quality filters out there um, but that's what's available to me so that's what I'm using uh, I'm gonna need a drain pan and I've got a, a 13 millimeter uh, end wrench ratchet end wrench and a 13 millimeter socket uh, it's got two drain plugs I'll show those to you in a second uh, on some bikes, they're 17 millimeter. My bike uh, happens to be 13 millimeter. So I'll show you the drain plugs and we'll get going. Uh, you also need, if you uh, or should have, a, uh, an oil filter wrench. Uh, I don't have one small enough for this and uh, usually have okay luck just wrestling, off, wrestling the, the filter off with my hands. Um, but if I need to, I'll get a pipe wrench out or something to get it off. But uh, haven't had uh, too many problems just wrestling it off by hand. But we'll see how it goes. All right, so we are laying on the ground on the right side of the bike. And I'm pointing at the oil filter right here. That's the filter. The drain, the first drain plug is... pretty much right behind the kickstand right there so there's my kickstand in the background there and there's my front drain plug the rear drain plug 
is all the way back here. I'm sorry for the lighting and what have you, but uh, there's a an oil tank. It's uh, up an oil tank under the seat, and the drain plug for that one is right there. Uh, let's see, right behind the exhaust brackets. If you can see that. My camera work leaves something to be desired and all right so that's the the two drain plugs uh, again uh, right behind the kickstand and then back here uh, right behind the exhaust bracket mounting bracket um, on my bike is 13 millimeters uh, other bikes might be 17 millimeters uh, we'll pop those two uh, we'll do the front drain plug first and we'll do pull the uh, the filter off, let those drain, and then we'll uh, hit the back drain plug, let it drain, and then we'll move on from there. All right, so let's see if we can crack this thing loose first. This thing can be kind of a bugger. I'm burning myself. It's hot. Sound out. Drip. No. It's coming out. All right. So there's one. filter and that front plug at the same time. Just don't let the filter come off and splash down into the hot oil into your face. Unpleasant. There we go. Okay, so while that's finishing up draining, I'm going to get the new filter ready to go so I can get that on and then I'll put the drain plug in move on to the back plug. So, as always, take your new filter and take a little bit of new oil and rub it on the gasket. That'll help ensure a good seal against the mating surface where this goes. that in there and then you're ready to screw this back on. Don't dump your quart of new oil and your old oil filter you can put in the box from the new one to help manage some of the mess. Put it off the side and we're ready to that. If not, you get the idea. So just spin it on. You should, before you spin it on, you should give mounting a wipe with a rag just to make sure that there's no dirt or uh, other contaminants on that. That would potentially cause a leak. filter on until it touches and then you make note of the starting point I'm using these numbers right here and you want three quarters to a turn to get three quarters of a turn to a full turn and, and that's as far on as tight as you need to get as she's going 
you put them on too tight, you risk crushing that gasket and cause a leak. And you don't want that. Obviously. For obvious reasons. Now I'm also going to get lit up in the uh, on the forms for this. You're supposed to there's supposed to be a crush washer that you put on this here uh, drain plug. And you notice mine doesn't have one and hasn't had one. Because the first oil change that I did on this bike, the first oil change I did on this bike, I replaced that crush washer. And I had a massive leak out of that drain plug. So I don't use crush washers. I just put the drain plug in like it is, and I've never had a leak. So that's how I do it. The, the book says you're supposed to put a crush washer in there. Other people swear by it as well. I don't do it. I think it's a matter of personal preference. Do it or not. Alright, so it's down to a slow drip, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the drip and put the plug back in. Drain plug, pan out of the way, wipe the drips up. Running it in. Wrench. Okay. You don't need to don't need to pop a hemorrhoid. You just need to make sure it's in there good and tough. I got bit by my driveway taking the taking the drain plug out. So it's close to the driveway. Alright, time to move on to the back drain plug. As I mentioned before, the back drain plug is is right up under here next to the uh, next to the shock but just kind of more or less right in line with the back of the of the uh, exhaust uh, exhaust mount so now I might have too long of an extension maybe not okay so Again, it doesn't have to be super tight. It just has to be tight enough so it doesn't come out. You just break it loose and then finish running it out with your fingers. Into your drain if you can. There you go. Same as, same as the front. As far as the crush washer goes, I don't use them. I'm supposed to have one on the back here as well. Same reason. So, there we go. We'll let that drain. All right. So in preparation for filling the, putting the new oil in, I need to take the seat off. The oil tank and the dipstick. Before I put these Harley bags on, I, used to, I was able to do this without taking the seat off. Pop the front and slide it over to the side. I can't do that.
All right. We are done dripping. Time to put the drain plug back in. Finger tight. Oh, now we're gonna blow. All right, it's tight. So the plan of attack here is we're gonna put two fresh uh, quarts of oil in. We're gonna start the bike and let it run for about 30 seconds and shut it off and put the, the last two quarts in. Here we go. So that's really it. Now I've got four quarts in and start it, let it run a little bit. No leaks, a little oil spot from uh, draining the old oil, but take care of the old oil. I always like to keep a empty jug around just for such occasions. It's time to ride it. Thanks for watching.